We have finished loading up. And we are about to jump into the first match of the day. This is week 15 of the Quake Pro League. 40, take it away. And we are live and we are starting on scale, much to Wheat's dismay here. Easy mega pickup for Dramas. So now he just wants a little bit of weaponry. There's a little bit of a blast there in the Thunderdome. Damage on both sides. But nothing too crazy, Fleet. Not at all. Except for those damn fine weapon skins. Sink. Killing it again with that skin. Rocket launcher. Never looked so fine. And Dram is now trying to apply a bit of pressure. I like what he's doing. Being very proactive when it comes to taking down those tokens. You want to nip that in the butt as soon as possible. And make sure that Sparty cannot get that overstack going. Dramas pumping the emergency break there, taking out a totem early and just kind of waiting, trying to play off a sound cue, maybe get a good bull rush, shoulder charge into some rocket damage here. Nice patient play from Dramas. Both players being very patient. There we go. Door between them will open up. No damage being dealt though. For the time being, Sparty is the one securing Mega, whereas Dramas is in control of the Heavy, and that's not what Sparty wants. He's got an ability that gives him health, so what he wants to prioritize is that armor. But here we go, the bull rush, it connects at the very end! But Dramas unable to really follow up with the rockets. Both players know neither wants to commit. Mega is up, and this is an opportunity for Dramas. He's got the better positioning to now secure full control of the major items. You could tell Dramas wanted to risk it right there with the repeak, but Sparty nowhere to be found. But yeah, as you said, good damage, and now he has full map control. Sparty playing on the ropes here, trying to stay alive, and Dramas is on the hunt. Not a whole lot of resources left on the map to work with. This could be devastating for the Suite. We'll go down. First frag goes in favor of Dramas. Excellent opener. Good move to deny that armor shard, get back to the Mega. He is getting peppered though, but the Mega should save his life. Sparty trying to max damage, but with that Mega pickup, it's not going to be enough. Good rail as well, could deny this heavy. Sparty has to get out of there. He's going to wait and try and do a little bit of damage, but it's going to cost him his life. And now Dramas can just really open this one up for him. Little greedy by Sparty right there. Saw the item unattended, made a move for it, ends up in the poison pit. And that is Sparty down to negative one. Drama's doing a great job of just denying everything. Decent bit of rocket damage from down below. Yeah, not bad considering the position of Drama's here, but Sparty has the height advantage. He's actually gonna drop down. Can't seem to connect with these rockets, unfortunately. Oh, but that's juicy. Big one. Yep. And he actually bullies Dramas of the item, and the combo of the totem together with the rail will be enough to take down scale even while the damage reduction of the bull rush is active. And now Sparty finally getting his first frag. Still three points down, but at least he's managed to stabilize. He's got the weapons, he's got position. This is where he wants to be. Heavy should be going into his favor as well. But those close combat rails that we were talking about, this is risky. Both players low. Who finds the shot first? Oh, it is Dramas! Fly by rail at point blank range. As he extends his lead once more. Have it no other way. Why use any other weapon when you could just use a rail from that close? And Dramas makes it work 4 0. Sparty was able to even out with a frag of his own, but had that tactical suicide earlier. So still trailing by four. Bull rush back in, and he's going to use that to grab the heavy. Dancing across the churro, trying to make his way back to the Mega. And Sparty with interesting pathing here. It might cost him his life. Good rocket damage. The totem will save him. Dramas now in a world of hurt in the Thunderdome. Doesn't have position on this, but Sparty barely has any HP. Can he last nine seconds? He's going to drop down and try and find some health. But if Dramas knew, if only Dramas knew, Flea, it would be an easy pickup for him. Oh, absolutely. But two health is all he needs to stay alive. Those nine seconds must have felt like an eternity. He does manage to secure the Mega. Doesn't really get anything out of it other than staying alive, though, because he's not getting any overstack. Whereas Dramas is looking chunky when it comes to that stack. Sparty once again near Dev's door. And Dramas going for the rail and getting the shot. Not bad at all. 75% rail for Dramas. Ooh. My god. Oh, big rocket. A little bit of a tickle. This should be a finisher right here with the rail again. <laughs> and it is. 
Nice. Dramis is giving us what the fans want, Corey. Must have heard us before the match started. He knows that those aggressive pushes with nothing but the rail out is just what we like to see, and it is working out flawlessly. Not bad at all. 7 0, and Dramas using that stack of Scale Bear to just push to his heart's content, and wow! All right, so the silver lining, Sparty steals the Mega, but Dramas makes him pay with a frag. The rocket's just missing out, but the rail won't. There's the rocket jump, there's the denial with the rail, and Dramas putting on a show right now. Sparty just trying to do anything he can to stay alive in 9 0, and Dramas is just running away with this. He's bull rushing away with this fleet. Indeed he is. Now what can Sparty do to turn this around? He has the better positioning when it comes to the Mega, but he's lacking weapons. So even though he will pick it up, he doesn't have any armor to his name. He's got very little firepower, doesn't have a rail. And that is one of his crucial weapons. And then that drop, a little careless. Drum is waiting with the LG out. This is tricky. Four minutes, ten frags against an opponent who's been playing so well. What oh. can he do? Help. Yeah, crushed. Not to alarm anyone, but Dramas is now hitting 81% rail. Disgusting. Oh, and I think, I don't know what that was. I can only imagine maybe a little bit of frustration on Sparty's part. Yeah. It's not really a party anymore right now. And another rail again from Dramas. Absolutely relentless. Everything is going his way right now. He'll even eat that totem damage. Doesn't care. There's the flick rail. One more up close. Oh my god, he used the shotgun! 84% railgun accuracy by Dramas. Forby. This is nasty. He's just he's just pumping it up every single time. He starts at like 71, you said at some point, but he doesn't want to finish in the 70s. The 80s, the 90s, that's what he's going for. Huh. And another bull rush brutal to the face. And now Sparty has no oh choice but keep aggressively God. pushing, hoping for a miracle. The one that I fear will not happen today. Wow, I don't even know how Sparty got that kill. That first direct rocket, and then unfortunately for Dramas, doesn't connect with another one. So, glimmer of hope. Do you believe, Flea? 14 frag deficit? Let's go. 14 frags, <laughs> two and a half minutes. I'm glad that you're still so optimistic about it, for There's but still time. There, there is still time. Yes, that is technically true. Look at these rails. Oh my god. Oh no, Drama still walks away with the item. The rail is all it took to knock Sparty off course, and I think that he's just... He's accepted his faith. He just took that scale rush to the face like a man. But yeah. This will be going to the Dragonborn Esports player, Dramas, representing the USA. Solid opener for him. Yeah, more like USEA right now. 16 frag lead. This one is in the bag. Not only that, but hitting 80% rail. I'm sure that, you know, boosts him up a little bit. And wow, what a start for Dramas. This is exactly what you want. Now, if you're Sparty, at this point, you're already thinking of map two, right? You know that this is over and done. The best you can do is just keep your keep your aim warm, right? Keep that mouse hand moving. But mentally, he's already thinking of the next map. Yeah, nice little float. Yeah, lead. as he should be. There's nothing to do or see here anymore. You have to mentally reset going into CK. And uh, thank you, Lucky Stars. There's no rail on that one because the way Dramas is playing with the rail, you, know, you don't want to deal with that. LG on LG right now. Just a little bit of warm up here. Why not? Keep your aim alive going into map number two as we have the final countdown. One minute warning. Uh, but quite the performance from Dramas to kick us off yeah, on week 15 here. 2,000 damage with the railgun alone by Dramas versus just 460 by Sparty. I think that says it all. Railgun was so oppressive. And then tied that together with that movement, the bull rush, the burst damage potential that scale has. The moment you put yourself in a bad position for it and you hear that bull rush coming at you, you don't have an ability to evade it. You can't go invisible or double jump over it. Kind of just have to take it if there's no place to dodge, and that's exactly what happened time and time again. And 
unfortunately, the totems don't work like a speed bump like Timmy the Turret. Yeah. They don't stop you in your tracks. They just a little bit of damage, but all in all, they're gonna, that scale's going to get to you. I mean, interesting to note is that Drum is started by banning um, the Ison. So perhaps it was a calculated play on his hand to be like, no, 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 no. I want to play scale, and there will not be an Ison in play to have that turret to block me. So who knows? All a part of the plan and uh, working in his advantage. If that was some tactic, uh, I mean, we saw it right there. That is easy for Dramas on map number one. But again, the mental reset needs to come into play. CK, no rail there. Uh, Ranger versus VJ, I still give it to Dramas just based on the Ranger pick. But we'll see. We'll see. It's a new map, mental reset. Let's see what Sparty can do. But that was a shellacking on map number one. It absolutely was. And at least Dramas has broken that dry streak, right? I mentioned it earlier. He has gone, what, I think four series in a row without taking a single map. So no matter how this ends up, he will still have broken that disastrous streak of losses. So fingers crossed the Dramas can keep this up. But Sparty, on the other hand, there were some signs of life in there, right? We saw it, the flow, there were some really solid combos, some nice dodges here and there as well. So Sparty still has the fight left in him. And I hope that he can make good use of that BJ dual wield ability in map two. Yeah, I mean, the issue is when you're down 10, 11 frags, you just have to start throwing anything against the wall, seeing what sticks. And so some of those rocket jumps and, you know, more careless plays, that's that's just all you can really do. So Sparty kind of clocked out around six minutes, and I don't blame him because that was a tough, tough deficit to overcome. But like we said, at that point, try to just set your sights on map number two. And, yep. uh, you know, you still have two maps to try and take this set, but what a powerful start for dramas here 22 to 4 the railgun was absolutely immaculate but ck no railgun so let's see what the rockets at lg could do for him a lot of machine gun heavy machine guns going to be huge on this one but yeah just mental reset if you're a sparty fan if you're a mayonnaise fan in chat uh send him your energy he might need it Absolutely, and indeed, as you've pointed out yourself, this is the only map in the pool that does not have the Railgun. And as we discussed earlier, Rail happened to be Dramas' key to victory on map one. So how is that going to change the approach? You just said it yourself, right? Instead of Railgun, people tend to go for the Heavy Machine Gun. That's the other consistent damage output that you can do at long range. So how is this going to turn out? Can Sparty counter with the dual wields, right? I think or at least if I was Sparty, I think he's going to want to try and spring some traps on his opponent, right? Ranger has got more mobility with the orb. Sparty hopefully will be ready to instantly and to preemptively rather pull out that dual wield because it takes a little while to get going. So you have to be super aware of where your opponent is and try to always be in control of the way the map flows so you can pull it at a moment that you choose rather as like a panic or when you're caught off guard. Yeah, I really am excited to see how the spawns play out for the first spawn because we usually see a battle at the Rockets or LG. And both these players, not afraid to be aggressive. I'm assuming we're going to see that first battle at one of those spots. We'll see. We're working through some technical difficulties right now. I believe the mayonnaise man was uh, stuck. So camera issues that we're trying to uh, fix because we want to see all those beautiful expressions throughout the game. So just hang in there, chat. We will get into map number two shortly. I have no idea what's going on with the predictions, but... You know, honor system. Start locking them in in chat. Why not? Yeah. Just read them out. We could, please, you could do the math. You're a genius, right? Come on, chat. Post some, post some predictions. Forty and I will cover them <laughs> live. There we go. He'll crunch the numbers. Oh, yeah. Looks like we're good. Looks like we are ready to go. Hopefully, hopefully, we're going to see a better matchup this time around. Sparty complaining about some issues during that first match in the series. Let's see. If those have been amended, change of servers this time around as well might have uh, changed a thing or two in favor of the mayonnaise man, as you keep calling him 40. So uh, let's see I'm how sure this hates pans it out. Too. I hope he punches me in the face on LAN. Um, I, I just also love chat too. Everyone's like, pre recorded games can't have technical difficulties. What does that even mean? I don't know. This is all an illusion, chat. This is all done months and months ago. We're like a wrestling federation. Sync error predicting Dramas <laughs> will hit a rail in the next map. He's talking about the secret railgun <laughs> hidden. That's true. That only he and Dramas know about. We're not supposed to talk oh, about that shit. on the show, Flea. 
Unbelievable. Okay, but just cats out of the bag. Yeah, now everyone land is knows. over. Now everyone knows. It was fun while it lasted, but looks like all the players have readied up. I think that we do have Sparty's beautiful face back on camera, so we should be diving into map two in just a second. Now I'm seeing. From what I can tell, based on just looking at the comments, quite a lot of love for Dramis. I think people have seen what the American can bring to the table on map one and are kind of rolling with it. So uh, can Sparty stop the onslaught without a rail on the map? Can he play this differently and come out on top? Uh, CK is a very snowbally map. So if yes. Sparty gets a frag in the right area, you can run the spawns between Red Room and Rockets. Again, I, I feel like the first spawn is going to be very critical between these two players, especially the way they like to play aggressive. We, we could hop in the server and see them both just play super defensive too. So I'd love to see them just go head to head and fist fight right off the bat. About 30 seconds, we're going to find out, Flea. I mean, the previous map started pretty slowly as well, right? For like the first 30 seconds to a minute, both players were being really, really passive and no one really, yeah, no one made a move. So. Let's see how this starts out. Are we just going to kick it off with a brawl or are both players being a little more reserved? We're about to find out as we're jumping into the game. We're on Dramas' point of view to kick it off. <laughs> Look at that right off the bat. There's the tire orb cut off. And it was almost gorgeous. Doesn't quite get the heavy, but still could get the frag. The rocket just hitting the pillar. Oh, Sparty. That pillar saved his life, but he's still on death's door can he get away more machine gun now dramas it's too much oh the rocket was perfectly placed and more so sparty popped the dual yeah. field and it's gone flea very aggressive push of the spawn though heavy nails is all he needs to tie it back up but indeed he doesn't oh have my a dual field. but look at this what <laughs> 40 you got the brawl that you were hoping for four frags in 45 seconds this is mad i think i threw up my voice <coughs> yeah unbelievable here sparty takes a little bit of self damage lg on lg trying to fight for this mega both players extremely weak and sparty tactical suicide yet again wants to get that heavy spawn not bad He's gonna have the shotgun to work with, and there's the dual wheel trying to pump away at Dramas, and he works! He makes it work! What a play from Sparty. He hadn't even picked up the heavy yet. Just going for it. Off the spawn, picks up shotgun, gives up positioning just to apply pressure, just to go for the rush. That is a ballsy play, but it's working out so far. Absolutely love to see it. Nice, good damage too. Oh no. Oh, Travis just so aggressive with 50 HP, doesn't care. Sparty makes some pay. And he's going to need to do that a lot more. That's not going to sway Dramas away from this aggressive play. Listen to what I say. Oh, it's beautiful. A little bit of LG, just can't get it. Oh. Oh my god. Where did that one come from? How did that even connect? I feel like the rockets really failed. The dramas on that one does get a good nail gun spawn as Sparty one of those health bubbles. Dramas protecting, pushing, trying to Okay, three HP. And we're tied back four to four, and uh, neither player willing to relent their aggressive pursuit of frags. And uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. And this is something that's, that's pretty typical, I feel like, for this map, right? You start off with a brawl up until one player at one point just gets the upper hand and starts cycling the items. And we're not there just yet. No one's getting consistent control because it's just a spawn rush after spawn rush after spawn rush. And that's really what Quake's all about. Not, not really at all, but I'd love to see it. As Drama's now stuck, he's gonna take the jump pad up to try and deny this armor. Rocket damage is good, the LG better from Sparty, and finally plants him with a rocket. Taking a two frag lead, the biggest lead we've seen in the three minutes that we've been on this map, and absolutely insane. As Dramas does miss out on the heavy, but now has the weaponry he needs to maybe set up this attack here, but Sparty just has that machine gun out ready. Also has a big, big stack and the dual wield as well.
finally. Just a little bit of breathing room for both players here as Dramas decides to slow it down, grabs an armor shard. The light armor's on this map. Critical here, and right after that pickup, Sparty had a rocket just waiting for Dramas. Locked and loaded. Another warning shot, making sure Dramas doesn't peek over the edge there. As he claims the heavy, trying to make his way back to the Mega, but Dramas has better positioning. Can he steal away this item? There's a decent rocket, but it won't land. There's the Dire Orb, and the Dual Wield will melt him down right on top of the Mega. Nice. Sparty taking control now. This is Sparty's map. Making good use of those hourglasses as well. Really like that Sparty is prioritizing them often, and he's making such good use of that dual wield. Such a valuable ability. He doesn't have the movement, but that doesn't matter if Dramas just keeps coming towards him over and over again, and he just has to mount himself like a turret and deal all that damage. And again, look at the LG. It's solid, but the midair! Whoa! Dramas! Midi, and then switch to the shotgun to fix it all. Beautiful! Oh my god, the direct rocket from Sparty, though, the Dire Orb from Dramas, just to get by and maybe get a little bit of damage here. Sparty actually has the better stack with a little bit of armor. And he's going to be able to pick up the heavy cleanly, it looks like. Dramas trying to make his way towards it, but not going to be anywhere to try and contest. Time. Oh no, the click of death! He ran out of rockets, flee! Yeah. So painful, so painful. I think he otherwise would have been able to walk away with a frag right there, but now Dramas closing the gap, 40. Frag after frag, just one point separating these two. And now Sparty's gotta start being careful because Dramas has been picking up the major items for a full cycle now and that makes it a lot more difficult to just rush off the spawn because your opponent, even after those fights, will still have a pretty sizable stack. Nice LG trap here from Sparty. Dramas can't land any damage. That was about as clean as it gets for Sparty. LG comes out, out comes the dual shot. Oh, wow, Dramas. This has got to be frustrating for Sparty. So many fights, and it feels like Dramas just keeps getting away with a sliver of health over and over again. So I think it's really important that Dramas, or Sparty rather, keeps his cool. Oh, big rocket forces him down onto the low ground. Dramas smells blood, but he actually flubs it. Just barely missing out on the damage he needed. Does claim the heavy. Sparty's favorite with 19 HP. Can he find the machine gun bullets he needs? Sparty hanging by a thread right now in the boneyard. Wow, wonderful rocket as well. Can he turn this around? Dramas drops back down, and there it is. The Dire Orb he has used so much this game. The Equalizer at 10. The ability usage has been huge. Both players have been pulling it so effectively. Big rocket jump, Sparty eats a direct for his trouble, and now it's a race for Heavy, both players making a move, both players so low though, and oh. Sparty, yeah, jumps around the corner first and buckles to that rocket. Oh, and Dramas is just gonna push in through the choke point. He doesn't care about the nails. There's the redirection again, but Sparty able to capitalize, doing good initial damage first, tying at 11. Nail on nail action right now, as this is just haymaker after haymaker from both players. Nice little burst of heavy machine gun damage. Sessing, so important on this map in absence of a rail. That's how you want to cull your opponent's stack, how you want to keep it manageable. And even when you're playing off the back foot, prepare yourself for the next major engagement. Nice Sparty, he heard that Mega picked up, so he at least has got the time. Oh, oh my god! He just barely peeks over the edge for it, and the first thing he sees is that Orb of Doom hitting him in the face. Just brutal. Really good orb usage from Dramas. I mean, the dual wield has been pretty good from Sparty, but that dire orb is, like we said, so versatile. Both for repositioning, damage, everything, the finisher. Also stealing away items, as we saw there, but he may have damned himself to death here as the LG will plant him 12 to 12. Sparty ties it up with a minute 30 left.
I've played eight man death matches that were that weren't as hectic as this for the this is this is insane and goes LG on LG once more. Drama is this time having the superior aim coming out on top. One minute left on the clock. Sparty just one frag down, but he's gotta be careful. If he gives up another frag right now, ooh, when he does, just before Mega spawns, that could be a critical mistake. He does have the will. He just needs a good fight. He's going to pop it right now just to get himself out from behind the statue. And the LG plants him again in the Boneyard. Final resting place for Sparty. And that may have been the one to break his back. 45 seconds left. Dramas up by three. And we may see Dramas actually pump the brakes a little bit here, Flea. Rightfully so. He knows that Sparty has nothing to work with in terms of mobility. So if he can just use that heavy machine gun to just deal 100 damage out of nowhere and warp away if his opponent comes close, oh. they should be in the back. Lots of damage. Yeah. Even with that frag, the stack, it's over. Dramas has done it. Takes the set in two. This one not nearly as easy as map number one, but it gets the job done quite the slobber knocker that we just saw on CK. Andromas has got to be happy. Sparty under Sparty heavy hand. Sparty not yeah. as happy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we both thought the same thing right there. Andromas may be happy, but Sparty yeah, taking off and tossing down his headset like that. He is unhappy with that result, and I think it's understandable why. It was a very, very close game. Could have been either player's win, but ultimately it ended up going south for the Swede. And I think for the, I pointed it out right as it was happening, that one engagement with a minute left to go. Sparty pushing really aggressively towards Heavy, not leaving himself a way out. And then that one frag deficit turns into two just before Dramis picks up the Mega. And then it kind of gets out of control. Too little time, not enough, not enough flexibility anymore to tie it up. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm just the the dire orb usage was really, really well done from Dramas. Absolutely insane. But I mean, based on his aggressive play style and knowing how he wants to play, he played exactly how he wanted. He dictated the pace of the game completely with that dire orb. As we take a look at the stats, 16, 13 is going to be your final score in favor of Dramas. That's a 2-0 in the series. We are still going to go to Ruins to see if Sparty can put up at least a map. But as you saw right there, since we waited patiently to reset the cams, not very happy with that map number two. No, indeed not. Now, we've got one more map, one more match in this series, and that will be the largest map that they will have played on today. And that is Ruins of Sarnath, of course. And we get Dramas running Sorlak, so once again opting for that heavier stack, and we know how that turned out the last time he had a stack advantage. 22 to 4 on Veil. Vale. Again, having quite a lot of mobility as well, the air control that Sorlak has, plus a damage dealing ability in terms of that acid spit going up against Sparty, who is sticking in his comfort zone, clinging to those medium champions with Visor. Slightly faster movement than the other mediums, and he has that piercing side to work with. Are we going to see 80% rail from Dramas again? Saw it on map number one. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if anything, I would expect 80% rail from Sparty, if he is in good shape today, right? I mean... Sparty, Rail, one of his key weapons, plus he's shooting at Sorlek, she's a thick lady, she's a larger target, not that easy to miss, and lastly he's got that piercing sight, so he's got an ability that should help him get a lot of information, line up those shots beforehand, so I would expect Sparty to hit more Rails than his opponent, and if he doesn't, that will be a surprising result. Yep, Drama's working on the 3-0 right now. We'll see it. Yep. It'll be a battle of rails to settle this one. I don't see either player backing down from their rail game, but you're right. Sparty needs to step up and start connecting with some more of that. We'll see, though. Dramas could flip everything on its head and just get up close and personal with a shotgun and spit because that could take you far as a sore leg. But we are going to get into map number three to settle this and see if it's going to be a 2-1 or 3-0 in favor of Dramas. Map number three between Dramas and Sparty live on Ruins. And we're going to start off on Sparty because he's got some work to do. He sure has. Let's see if he can at least get himself a one-map win today. That's a lot of heavy machine gun damage. Nice tracking by Sparty. Now, we got to keep in mind, for you haven't really touched upon this, but Dramas is ranked 12 currently. Sparty ranked 11, right? Both are towards the bottom of the leaderboard, so... With three weeks left to go, these guys want to get all the points they can just in the hopes of getting a better seat, better route through the brackets when the finals comes around. Absolutely. 
Every single map matters. So Sparty playing for his life, trying to get anything he can here as he's claiming both light armors, trying to get that stack as high as he can, and he also gets the vision back, pops it immediately to make sure there's no shenanigans. There's quite the trap using the machine gun into the rail. There's the spit, misses with the second, and Dramas able to take him down with the shotgun. Good play, highly aggressive push by Dramas, pays off. And now look at him just flying around the map. Perfect timing on even the small items. We'll make a dive onto Heavy. Oh! Sparty showing his face hyper aggressively as well. Should get the frag. And indeed ties it back up 10 seconds before Mega. Sparty should be able to secure this, but Dramis Ooh. actually gets a solid spawn. Plus the speed that he's got to work with means that he should get himself in a really good stack right now. Oh, and Sparty tries to go for the drive-by rail, takes a lot of rocket damage. Does have the vision to pop, that should be a free one, and it is. Maybe a second? Nope. Dramas hits him with the double back! Oh, and the rocket finds it! Does get a rail off, Dramas extremely weak, he is going to steal away the heavy. Can Sparty get some machine gun damage? No, he's going to opt to get the rail and go through the telly, trying to work with these armor uh, shards, the light armors. Yet again, only trailing by one. So, not too bad for Sparty here. He just needs to be able to hit a couple more rails to initiate. Oh, but the rocket's so good from Dramas. Ends up with the acid spit to get his third frag. Again, aggressive by Sparty. He could have waited on the Mega and just tried to spam the doorway to prevent his opponent from pushing in, but instead he really positioned himself quite far out there near the entrance, oh. and in doing so, he didn't just give up a frag, but he also gave away the Mega to Dramas, and now the snowball, it started, Forty. What can Sparty do to stop this? I don't know, but he's got to do something. Good try ball, but he misses with the rail, and that'll cost him his life. Same thing. Could have made a move for Heavy, could have played or Mega, rather, just gone straight for the item. And he said he goes for the flyby rail, hyper aggressive. Like we mentioned before we started, right? If that works, you look like a genius. If it doesn't, it's like, why didn't you just go for the item instead? And now Dramas is just really running away with the scoreline. Yeah, this is uh, not looking great for Sparta here. Trailing by six. But it was this very map where he came back from eight frags to at least send us to overtime. But he played much differently. He's, he's struggling with the item control right now. He's kind of overextending to try and get some damage and frags. It's really costing him good rail there. Still taking the spit damage, and that's just a tracker for Dramas, but he did get him extremely weak. Now it's just a matter of can he capitalize and get this frag to try and stabilize Lee. That guy's up in five seconds. Doesn't look like uh, Dramas is even gonna go for it. He's gonna give it up to Sparty. This might be his way back in. There's the acid spit, drops right into it, but he should be able to get this frag. There it is, but Dramas trades it out. Ooh. Clutch rocket at the end there. Sparty not happy about that one. I don't know if you saw Forty, but that was a uh, a punch to the desk right there, and I can imagine why. That poor desk. That is a strong, strong man. I would not want to be that desk right now, Flea. <laughs> yeah, I think Sparty just didn't think that that rocket would still connect. He's hoping to be able to just walk away with the heavy, but no. Just not quite how that turned out. It does get that frag back. It's before the five minute mark. There should be another one. Misses with the rail, but a machine gun will do it. But instead he uses the rail. Now he has to grab health. 15, he's not gonna make it. Sad face. Sad face indeed. Just look at this. Gets a poor spawn as well, and Dramas. Dramas has nothing but railgun and machine gun as he charges in, lands two rails, and then finishes it off with the machine gun. Excellent play right there. He's looking to make the US proud today. Dragonborn Esports will be happy as he's heading for a 0 victory, but there is still time. This time, there really is still time. Six frags for rather five minutes, entirely possible. Oh, just misses with that rail, but two good shots from Sparty. Gives him an opportunity here, but a little bit of mispositioning. I mean, he had to pick an item. He went for the heavy. Mega's still up, but actually, 
Dramas is out in the courtyard, and he gets fragged here, giving Sparta the opportunity to not only get the kill, but get the Mega as well. And he gets some nice vials here, so he should have Vision back. And this is a huge opportunity for Sparty. Fantastic rail. And now he should be able to make his way back. Mega is just all by its lonesome right now. This could be the break that he needs. There we go. Expertly using that piercing side as well. But unfortunately unable to prevent Dramas from taking away that major item. Now Heavy should be going in favor of the Swede. But he really needs full control right now if he wants to mount the comeback. Nice rail. Almost gets another one. It's a big rocket there. Oh! But the trade again! Oh, Sparty's just hitting the most clutch shots, and then Drama says, I can also clutch out this this fight. And it's just so unfortunate. Sparty is working so hard for these frags. Still trailing by five. I still believe. I still believe. Trying to find some railgun damage. The rockets flying by. And look at that. Just another beautiful shot before the heavy pickup. These rails are keeping Sparty in the game. Still down by five, but... There's just something about him, Flea. There's something about this mayonnaise, man. One, two, can't hit the third. But still, those two rails left Sparty critically weak. Luckily, there is a Mega for him to work with. But Heavy, that's a different story altogether. Oh no, so aggressive on the drop down. He needed to land that first rail and Sparty. That's the tilt setting in. <laughs> Even going for no. the suicide. Oh, this is tragic to watch, Sparty. Somebody's going to gift that. That's going to be on the subreddit. That's going to be on Twitter. It's unfortunate, but there's still time. I still believe Sparty could still do this. There's the fight over the Mega, and the spit will melt him. One second later, could have saved himself with the Mega, but unfortunately for him, timing just didn't align that time. X frags. Sparty has no choice but to go all aggro. Hoping to chain together a few frags, but just look at that stack that Ramas has. Ramas has the better mobility, the higher starting Sparty stack. doing the dance, Even trying to chain Sparty together these rails. There's two, wants one more. There's a good rocket, and Dramas swaps to rail. Hits him right between the eyes. Up seven with two minutes remaining. And uh, a, a little bit of signs of uh, Sparty being a part of the tilt mode army in my opinion here. Again, you get into this deficit where you have to start pushing and making these kind of wild card plays. And if it goes your way, great, that's an opportunity. And if not, it just makes the deficit bigger. And unfortunately for Sparty on, on this map, that's exactly kind of how that went. 1.30 left on the clock. Dramas can literally bunny hop around the map to victory. Now just disrespecting Sparty, spitting on him. There's good rocket damage. The LG from around the corner should be able to melt him. And Drama still, after all that, gets one rocket into the breadbasket of Sparty. Yeah. Luckily for him, the Mega is up. But wow. What a performance from Dramas throughout this entire series. Absolutely. That is a well-deserved 3-0 victory and a welcome one, too. After his performance the past few weeks, is this the point where Dramas turns it back around? If you've been keeping an eye on his Twitter, at least he has been talking that, you know, Romania is coming up. This is where it changes. This is where everything kicks into a higher gear so that he will be playing at his absolute best performance when the finals comes around. So hopefully for Dramas, this is the moment where all of that starts. Oh yeah, it's all different. It's all different on land here. Sparty getting some uh, consolation frags, but uh, yeah, definitely not happy with the performance you saw. There's a, a lot of uh, gifable moments from this one here. The last 20 seconds will skate on by, and Drama's still looking to add more. Sparty gets one of his own. But ultimately, too little, too late. 40. Sparty, he put up one hell of a fight. Ultimately, I think, yeah, some of the mistakes, some of the problems, some of the, the unlucky things piling up got to him towards the end. We could definitely see a bit of tilt. Nevertheless, he put in admirable efforts, but Dramas was just too strong today. Too strong, too aggressive. The rail was too on fire for Dramas. So he does pick up the 3-0. And yeah, uh, it's, it's rough. It's rough being on the receiving end of an 80% rail gun. 
starting off the series on Vale with 80%, and that's kind of set the tone. Map number two, a lot closer, back and forth the entire way through, but that last fight around a minute left, as you mentioned, kind of swung it in the way of Dramas, able to extend to two and three and close it out, and then this one was just brutal all the way through and through, in my opinion. Yeah, indeed this was. Uh, ultimately, map two was the closest one of the bunch, right? And I think that seemed like that on paper as well. I think it was the one where the champion picks were the most evenly matched. If he had, for example, an Ison, I think map one could have turned out very differently. But map two, close in terms of champions and close in terms of score as well. It really wasn't in that very final minute that things fell apart for Sparty. The orb simply offered Dramas too much, too much ability, right? Both aggressively, both in terms of mobility, both defensively, right? It was too much simply for Sparty to deal with with the dual wields. Yeah, the Dire Orb is insane because if you throw it, it's not only misdirection. If it passes through you, it's a little bit of chip damage. If yeah. they teleport to you, it's just full-on shub. <laughs> I got a shub just watching it flee. But that'll be it for set number one. Dramas does take it 3-0 over Sparty. We started hot and heavy on week 15 with no signs of stopping. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with Zenaku versus Saigib. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 